Hey fam, what's going on? This is Reverend Devon Tremaine Forbes of the Ebenezer Baptist Church here in Lakes, Pennsylvania, and I have the moment of meditation for today. I'm going to look at Romans chapter 8 out of the New Century Version of the Bible. Romans chapter 8 out of the New Century Version of the Bible says, um, verse 14 says, The true children of God are those who let God's Spirit lead them. The true children of God are those who let God's Spirit lead them. The Spirit we receive does not make us slaves again to free. It makes us children of God. With that spirit, we cry out, Father. King James says, Abba, Father. And the spirit himself joins with our spirit to say we are God's children. If we are God's children, we will receive blessings from God together with Christ, but we must suffer with, as Christ suffered. Hear this. But we must suffer as Christ suffered so that we will have glory as Christ has glory. Here's verse 18 says, the sufferings, please hear me. The sufferings we have now are nothing compared to the great glory that will be shown to us. I'm going to read it for you again. The sufferings, whatever it is you're facing tonight, whatever it is you're going through, I want you to be encouraged. Find verse 18, chapter 8 of, verse Rom of Romans says, the sufferings we have now are nothing compared to the great glory that will be shown to us. God, God says simply to let you know that because you are a child of God, because you are a joint heir with Christ, because you are part of the family of faith, God says you have benefits. And one of those benefits you have is not just prayer, not just praise, not just a relationship with worship, but it says you have the benefit to know that whatever you're going through now is nothing compared to what God is going to do in your life. God, God, God says, what you are facing now, he says, to tell you this tonight, what you are facing now is simply a part of the development process so that when he takes you where he has destined for you to go, you can handle it. For many of us, God has great promises on our lives. He, he has great promises. And the fact that we are alive today means that the promise has still yet to come. Many of us have gone through storms. We have gone through situations and many pains in our lives. And we did not think we would make it out. But the truth of the reality is our worst days before, we survived them. We, we, we had some hard days. We had some difficult moments. And we cried and we cried. And we said, this is the worst day of our life. But yet tomorrow came. We made it. We survived it. God brought us through it. And if he had the power, the ability, and the strength to bring us through that, I'm confident that he could bring us through whatever we're facing today. So tonight, take courage. Don't be weary in well-doing. Take courage. Know that the sufferings of this present time are nothing compared to what God wants to do in your life. It says also, here it is, verse 26, is also the Spirit helps us. In our weaknesses, here it is. We do not know how to pray as we should. Here it is. But the Spirit, the Holy Spirit himself speaks to God for us. Even begs God. Here it is. Even begs God for us with deep feelings that words that cannot be expressed. I'm going to jump to 28. Then I'm going to get out of your way. It says, we know that everything God works for the good. Mm. Did you hear that? I'm going to say it again. We know that in everything, God works for the good of those who are loved. Mm. We know that in everything, God works for the good of those who love him. They are the people he called because that was his plan. <laughs> Did you hear that? They are the people he called because that was his plan. God has a plan for your life, beloved. 
I, I don't know what it is. I don't know you, but I'm confident God was a, God has a plan for you. Matter of fact, I hear Jeremiah want to testify. 29, 11 says the plans God has for you are great to give you hope, to give you a bright future. And God says, I have something so great that I got to develop you. I got to take you to a season and a time of developing so that your muscles and your strength and your faith is strong enough to sustain you. I want to pray with you tonight because I'm believing that whatever you're facing, God's going to give you the strength to make it through. Father, we thank you even now for those that have tuned in, for those that are connected, not just to this ministry, but connected to your word and to your will. Father, we pray tonight that you would give them strength, that you would give them courage, that you would help them, that you would hold them. And whatever it is they are facing tonight, God, let them have confidence that you have a plan, that you have a will, and that you make a way for them. God, we can testify that you've done so many things before in our past. And God, that we can hold fast to that promise, hold fast to our faith that you can and you will do it again. So God, we speak healing. We speak peace. We speak prosperity. We speak joy. We speak the manifestation of that which you brought. We speak your heaven will for your people. We speak even now, even during this pandemic, that you're going to send peace and joy and prosperity, that you're going to send strength and wisdom and guidance, that you're going to do what needs done in our lives. Because we are children of the Father. So God, we thank you for answering our prayers. We thank you for loving us and for giving us our sins. We thank you for providing ways for us out of nowhere. We are grateful. We are thankful for what you have promised, positioned, and proclaimed for us. So cover us as your people. Forgive us of our sins and use us even now in this moment. We trust you. We praise you even now. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Join us again. Again, this is Devon Tremaine. Ebony's Church on Lancaster, Pennsylvania, with a moment of meditation. Be well.